So hello, welcome back. Me and Mark today, we're heading up to the Kennet and Avon Canal. We're gonna do a loop around the canal, back into Bath through the two tunnels. I'm gonna pick up three tiles, which are gonna expand my square massively by three, I think. So it's a it's a win-win for me. It's an adventure of some new roads. The only problem is, it's been nice the last two days, and today it's a bit misty and drizzly. And there's a forecast of maybe sunshine, maybe rain, but 70% chance of rain. So we might get wet. But we're gonna have a laugh. I've got some jelly beans, so I'm gonna make myself smile at some point when I'm popping them in when I'm starting to struggle. But it's about 115k, I think, 120k. I can't remember exactly, but it's about 80-ish miles. So quite a long ride for me. So this will be fun because I haven't been over 50 miles probably since the Golden Cap. But anyway, let's get on with it. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light Alright, so we've had our heads down for a while, we've not filmed much But we've just reached Lullington Castle took the right turn and we're now on new roads. This is new roads for me. Heading towards the tiles, heading towards Bradford and Avon and uh, the beautiful canal path along that side the Kennet and Avon Canal, which I'm mostly looking forward to. And a coffee, because it's still a bit grisly. Mark says it's nine degrees. It was supposed to be about 12 degrees today. After being 18 and sunny yesterday, but never mind. We're on our bikes, we're on an adventure and we are having a laugh. Oh, what a spectacular little valley that was. The village of Freshford. The climb out in there. Oh, a couple of hairpins. Pretty steep. Coffee can't be far away, can it? Right, so here we are. Joining the Kennet and Avon Canal cycle path all the way from Bradford and Avon to Bath. And then we're going to go through the two tunnels. That's a bit bumpy. <laughs> It is a bit bumpy, but it is quite a smooth surface. So hopefully we'll be able to fly along. Mark's there, way in the distance, tapping away. I've been messing around with the camera equipment. I'm not slow, I promise. But no, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. This is what we came for. Well, like that, and some cake at some point. Mark's promised me cake. So <laughs> how long before we stop for cake? Who knows? vegetarian and all I can smell is sausage. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fancying then? Me? Did you ice cream? <laughs> ice cream today? <laughs> gotta be kidding. Gotta be, uh, got? got be something warm. Have you got all that? Yeah, let's have some of that.
that there are quite a few pedestrians on this bit. I'm hoping they thin out a bit the further we go out of Bradford and even closer we get to Bath. Oh, that's a car. Is this the viaduct? Yeah, there's uh, the aqueduct. Yeah, that's the pump over there. Isn't it? Oh, and a train. Yeah, a waterfall. It's crossing over to get onto the next path. We can't go that way. Oh, we got to cross over, have we? We have got to cross over where, where he's going. Oh, uh, we got to go down. Go down there. Down there. Uh, yeah. That train's noisy. Yeah. That's a lovely spot though, isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. Look, look down through there, bloody lovely. All that building there. Yeah. Nice bit of aqueduct. Yeah. Bit of engineering for you. All right, so we've got to cross over to get on the other side of the path by going under the aqueduct. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain We'll take it in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I do love a canal cycle path. Oh, yeah, this is, nice this is uh, just beautiful scenery, nice and quiet. A bit mucky in the puddles at times, but this bit coming up is very special. I've been here before when I did Prospect Place. I do like this bit. Oh, this is a very nice bit. Look at this. Another aqueduct. Don't fall in there, Mark. Well, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> that side. Yeah, don't fall that way either. No. Yeah, this is the turny bit, isn't it? This is where they turn yeah. their boats around. Turn over it. We'll go over to that bridge. We've got to go across the bridge. Across the bridge. And, and back, back on, on the, the other side. Back on the towpath again. Nice. All right, so we made our way over to Bath. Path has got infinitely better. Nice bit of tarmac now. It's easily doable on a road bike. Uh, it is a bit bumpy. It would be a lot more comfortable on a gravel bike, but you can do it definitely on a road bike. So you've got to do it. What a, what a great little track that is from Bradford on Avon. I know well, it goes all the way to Devizes and carries on even further than that, but the stretch we're doing today from Bradford on Avon to Bath, beautiful. You enjoyed that, Mark? Yep. <laughs> Quick interview. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, so we arrived at the two tunnels. I just about asked you for another interview, Mark, and you've gone again. <laughs> you don't want to be interviewed today. Well, I better take my glasses off, I can't see. Oh, That's better, Mark. I had to take my sunglasses off, I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> They're not playing the music, the creepy music, do they? I've got to get a torch on me, on me watch. I can actually see better in the camera than I can it with my eyes. So, <laughs> I might keep the camera on for the whole time we're in here. Well, we're really there now. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, well, that's not good. I was going to get capped for the torch on me watch. Here I am. Well oh, that took some adjusting. Is that darker in there today, or is that just me? Um, it's quite dark in there, isn't it? I know it's normally dark in there, but it just felt darker in there today. Or is that just where I've now reached 50 miles, which is the longest I've ridden this year, in fact for six months, and the lights are slowly turning themselves off inside my head? Yeah. Slowly fading away. Uh, don't do it, not yet. Got 30 miles to go yet. Yeah. Well, I got the bungee cord to strap to your bike yeah. for you to tow me home when we yeah. get when I start struggling. I've been tracking time since the day that we parted, hoping that you got all the things that you want. Yes. Thank you. Right, we, <laughs> right, we come away from the two tunnels route. We're now heading for Coombe and we're going to go through, I can't remember what the valley is now. I want to say Carding Mill Valley, but I might be wrong. Um, it's still trying to rain. There's a bit of drizzle. We've managed to avoid any real rain today so far, but Mark did mention at the cafe that we stayed dry, so I've been expecting to get wet at any minute. <laughs> Keep the coat on. <laughs> But hopefully there's a bit of downhill, a bit of uphill, a bit of downhill. Lady. It's downhill from Wells anyway, we know that much. Yeah. But yeah, just got to make it back now on my tired legs. Feeling right? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, there's one of us. <laughs> we have to stop for cake and tea in a minute. Oh, we need cake. We definitely need to stop for cake. Four times today you've nearly come a cropper and I've missed every single one of them. <laughs> You show, it's like the traffic light ones, I balanced and balanced and everything, ready, and I put my foot down, the light turned green. You, you stopped me from going, because there was a mini coming, so I stopped, and then you went to go, and then you got nearly run over with the car coming the other way. <laughs> and then, then my gears were all wrong, and I had to go up the straight climb, and it wasn't going to happen. All I, all I hear is excuses. Well, Don't kill yourself when I'm with you. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> What do you interview now, Mark? <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to speak. I've got little jelly beans in me mouth. Oh, right, so the jelly beans have got me through Porton. This now is the last climb up to Chill Compton to get me on top of the Mendips. Once we're up there, it's just slightly rolling and down into wells. My right knee's hurt a little bit, but nothing to worry about. What a great day out so far though. Gotta love those canal paths. Quick splash and dash coffee, Mark. Yeah. Get some life back in the legs. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want any cake? Oh, whatever they've got, cake, yeah. He's sneaking it away. <laughs> Mm. 
No more. That's it. Want no more interviews? Is that is that it done? Yeah, that's it, mate. All done. So, so you talk to me off camera, but not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. It's all done by the shouting and the drinking of the coffee. We're just going to amble our, it's about six miles back to Glastonbury. Mark's got a bit further because he's got to get to Street. But, oh, brilliant ride. Really enjoyed it. Um, Canal Pass just seemed to do something. I just love the boats, water, away from the cars. He says with cars going back past in the background. <laughs> We're in the middle of a city. What can you expect? Anyway, we will see you, maybe not next week. Um, I might not have the video out next week. We will see, but definitely the week after. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.